Hey guys, it's Briggs here, and like always, welcome to All Day Anime, and roughly a year ago, I pretty much decided to make this channel on a whim, and here we are today with over 1,000 subscribers. And I just wanted to make this video today to thank each and every one of you so much. Like, just the fact that over 1,000 people fell asleep while watching one of my videos and accidentally hit that subscribe button is honestly insane. But yeah, all seriousness, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed that face reveal. I'm not much of a vlogger and really don't plan to be. At first, I kinda wanted to make the entire video a vlog, but it's really just not my cup of tea. So in this video, I just wanted to thank everyone so much. Let everyone know that I'm going to be doing a Q&A in a week. So yeah, leave your questions in the comments below. It could be personal, about anime, or just a troll question. And I also want to let everyone know about my upload schedule and the content I plan on uploading going forward. Thank a few individuals specifically, and at the end of the video, I'm going to add a haul video from when I went to a convention a few weeks ago, and show off some of the shit I got. In terms of my upload schedule, I plan on uploading at the very, very least once a week. I do want to try to upload twice a week, but at the very least, you can expect once a week. I really want to focus my time on anime fact videos because I know you guys love those, along with the anime like videos where I recommend anime that are similar to another series because those are my favorite to make and have been doing pretty well. And of course, at the beginning of every season, I like to do a few first impressions and, and let you guys know what I think of the show and if it's worth a watch. I might throw in an AMV every few months because those are always fun. Unfortunately, however, I am no longer going to make anime vine compilations. I'm sorry, I know a few of you guys really enjoyed them, but yeah, I always post cool vines that end up on my videos anyways on Twitter, so you can follow me there, I post a couple a week. And I recently hit 10k followers on Twitter, so that's pretty awesome. And yeah, at the end of the day, I want to focus the majority of my time on anime-like and anime fact videos, but you can expect other videos from time to time. Okay, so there are a few people I want to thank specifically, and the first person I want to thank is Too Spooky. Without him, I know for a fact I would not have hit 1k as fast as I have, Thank you so much, dude. And I'm going to assume majority of you guys have come from his channel, but if not, be sure to check him out. He makes awesome facts videos and some very analytical top 10s that I love to watch. His link is in the description, so if you haven't already, make sure you check him out. I definitely consider him one of my closest YouTube friends, and he has always been super supportive. So, as I said before, I recently hit 10k followers on Twitter, and I just want to give a quick shout out to my fellow hashtag Nen Knights. They are all anime Twitter accounts, so be sure to check them out, and their links will be in the description below. I want to thank one of them individually, and he is at Ridnigga. This man's been with my channel since literally before I posted my first video. We met each other from our Twitter accounts, and I told him I was going to start a channel, and he has been extremely supportive over the last year, which is crazy. He recently made a YouTube channel by the name Nayo, and does some pretty interesting commentary over video game footage so be sure to check him out i also want to give a little shout out to some of my buddies in real life that have been watching my videos since this channel began you guys know who you are and yeah that's the end of this portion of the video thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers let's try to double that number in a smaller amount of time and now on to the anime north hall portion p.s remember to leave your questions for the q a in the comments below for the first purchase we got this large one piece wall scroll and i believe it went for 30 bucks and considering the size and amount of wall it covers, I'd say it's a pretty good price. Next, we're moving down to this Hunter x Hunter poster that went for 20 bucks, which is a little bit overpriced for its size, but considering the quality and the fact that I think it looks so cool, I'd say it was worth it, and it's probably my favorite poster that I have so far. Next up, we got this classic straw hat for 20 bucks, and it goes without saying it was worth every penny. There were a few cheaper ones, but the quality just didn't compare. I'm probably going to be cosplaying as Luffy next year, so this will come in handy. Next up, we got this One Piece poster, which I got for 4 bucks which was a complete steal and at the same time i got this blue exorcist poster for four bucks doesn't look too cool but it was four dollars so whatever i bought three light novels to continue off where the anime seasons left off already slaughtered no game no life and i'm about to start devil as a part-timer just finished re-watching the series to remember what happened and i believe each of them went for roughly 15 bucks and finally, I bought this cool ring that Itachi wore from Naruto for $5. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. And just like that, I'll see you all next time, dudes. Shin Paku.